One of the most popular ways to initiate Bible study is through a topic or a subject. And these subjects could fall into most any category imaginable. They could be biblical in nature. We want to study a biblical person or place or thing or event. They could be theological in nature. We want to study the doctrine of sin or salvation. They could be historical in nature. We want to study Martin Luther or John Wesley. Or they could simply be contemporary or popular. We want to study money management management or anger or marriage or they could fall into any category imaginable. Well fortunately for us there is an incredible tool in Logos that will help us to study any or all of these subjects and the tool is called the fact book. So let's take a brief look at it. So you'll see on my screen that I have my home page open. I'm going to click the home icon to close it and then on the toolbar we have an icon to open the fact book. It's sort of the box with the check mark. So go ahead and click it and the fact book opens. Now I'm simply going to show you some of the types of subjects that you can type in here. We'll start with a biblical person. I want you to type Timothy in the box and then notice in the drop down list we have a list of all things related to Timothy. I want you to click Timothy the name, the person right at the top and the fact book builds for us an incredible report related to Timothy. I'm not going to take you through all of this, a lot of it is self-explanatory. At the top you have a key article which will link you to a predetermined Bible dictionary. You can click on that and that will take you there. I'm going to collapse key articles. You'll see key passages. Not all of the passages but here are some major passages that mention Timothy. I'm going to collapse that. Then we come to my favorite section when I'm studying a person. That's referred to as Notice we have the Greek words referencing Timothy and then come on down translated as I'm going to click more and here are all the mentions of Timothy in the Bible regardless of the words used to reference him. Now let that sink in. If we had just done a simple word search on the word Timothy, we would only get a couple of dozen hits. But sometimes Timothy is referred to as disciple or brother or son and so on. So here is every mention of Timothy in the Bible regardless of the words used to reference him. Very, very impressive. So I'm going to collapse referred to as here are some events that Timothy was involved in. You can click on them and build reports for those particular events. You can get to your dictionaries here. So it's important that you prioritize your Bible dictionaries in the order that you want them to show up here in the fact book. And on and on we could go. Do you see what the fact book is doing? It is gathering together a lot of information about our subject under study. Let's look at one that's more theological in nature. I'll type baptism in the box and notice in the drop down we have baptism systematic theology. So I'll click on that. We have a key article here that will take us to the Lexham survey of theology. Coming on down here are key passages related to baptism. Here are links to articles in our systematic theology books about this theological subject baptism. Again subject theological in nature the fact book is here to help. This time I want you to click in the box and I want you to type Wesley in the box. We get a drop down of all things related to Wesley. Let's click on John Wesley. We now have a report related to John Wesley. Most of these sections here are self-explanatory so go through, click on them and you're going to have a good understanding of who John Wesley was. What about a contemporary subject? I want you to click in the box and type anger. Notice in the drop down list we have counseling theme anger. And again we have sections. Here is a key article about anger from a counseling perspective. Notice we have key passages about this counseling theme. We also have a dictionary section that will take us to other articles in our library. So I encourage you open up the fact book. Type in any imaginable topic that you can think of and allow the fact book to build a very detailed report for you. Again most of these reports or articles are very self-explanatory so you simply go through clicking on links and you will have a well-rounded understanding of that particular subject.